white than the color. If you can't color, then do lettering. If you can't do lettering, then become an editor. I mean, there are lots of occupations you can do. So, so apply yourself to do it. Here's what I know. There's Artist Alley, for all you guys who've been out and gals who've been out in Artist Alley. There are hundreds and hundreds of people out here, right? They're not all professional. I don't know if you know that. They're not all professional. And the term, here's my definition of professional. They've done eight or 10 books for one of the big companies, right? One of the top five, six companies. Some of them are just good artists that haven't been given the break. And so they get four feet of space and they put up a little sign and say, for 20 bucks, I'll do a head sketch and I'll do a drawing. And they walk away with thousands and thousands of dollars. What, on a, on a tier of, here's the good artists, a lot of them about average, I've even seen some below average, but they walk out with a lot of money. And so I'm just saying that you don't have to be great at any of it. You just have to say, heck, I'm gonna push myself, I'm gonna go and spend a couple hundred bucks getting a table, and I'm gonna sit back, and people are gonna come up to you, and they're gonna give you money to do it if you're actually decent. So stop talking yourself out of it. Stop talking yourself out of it. I know for a fact that I, there are about a thousand people that are way more talented and skilled than I am. Here's why I have been able to elevate myself. One, I'm tenacious, right? I am stubborn, I am competitive, and I'm a warrior at heart, and I have never backed down from a fight, ever. Now, that's a personality trait. You can't put it in people, right? You're either a biter or you're not, right? I'm a biter. Right now, I don't start the bite, but if you bite first, fuck yeah, I'll bite back. Right? <laughs> so, so that's that. But again, you can't put it in people. So you have to do it. So I go, okay, that's me. But I, I just am saying, find your space and go and make it. Because here's what I know for a fact: there is no human being that wakes up on this entire planet and their first thought is to do me a favor. And it had, it's been true since I was a kid, and it's true now that I'm 57. There's not one day that one person, not even my mom, and I love my mom and she loves me, but she knew every day she had to wake up and she had to be the best person for herself so that she could take care of her children. She took care of herself first, then her children. So I still was second. Sort of hurtful now that I think about it, but it's true. So advocate for yourself. I know people go, well, I don't know if I can make it and I'm kind of shy and whatever, I'll stop it. Stop it, because nobody will advocate for you like you. Fight for yourself, right? Come on, you're good, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Get up there and do it. I'll set you up, I'll set you up for the people who say, well, you know, I, I can't take failure and whatever else. Man, there's a, there's a lot of occupations that you better not get into. But let me see if I can help you because it helped my career and, and it's one of the things I learned along the way. I'll, I'll get you to get through life in a positive fashion. And this is easy. This is, so if you're not an artist and you're not young, you're not going for a job, this will still get you through life. Wake up every morning and say these words to yourself. Today is going to be imperfect. If that's the first thought in your head, today will be imperfect you will nail every single day of your life. First time somebody cut you off, nailed it. First time somebody <laughs> honks their horn, nailed it. First time somebody gives you cold coffee when you had hot coffee, nailed it. Somebody sends you a bad email, nailed it, nailed it. You will nail it every single day of your life. And pretty soon you'll be like 40, 50, and you have like a 27,000 day hot streak because you got it right every single day. The days that break your heart are the ones where you got up and you thought it was gonna be perfect. And then you go, why would that person give me that email? Why would they cut me off? How come my service isn't good? How come, how come, ah, oh, you thought today was gonna to be perfect, right? It gets tough, just assume it's not gonna be perfect and you're gonna be a winner every day because you're gonna get it. Now, let's apply that to interviews. When you go into an interview, give it the best you've got at all times, give it a the best you've got, give them everything you have, and assume one thing, you're not getting a job. If you assume you're not getting a job, you will never, ever be disappointed. This is the thing, stop torturing yourself. Assume you're not getting the job. So this is how it works. You do the interview, 
you leave and you go, am I getting a job? No. And you walk out the door and you go, nailed it. <laughs> right, cool, I got it. And then two more rejections. Nailed it, nailed it. And pretty soon, you're gonna have this Cal Ripken Jr. streak. And you're gonna go, wow, I've been rejected like 120 times, I'm on a streak. And every time I knew they weren't gonna do it. And you know when they're gonna mess up your streak? One day you're gonna go to the interview and you're gonna go and then you're gonna get up and they're gonna go, Todd, where are you going? I go, oh, you know, you're not gonna hire me. And they go, no, we, Todd, stop. We're gonna hire you today. You, you did a good interview. And two things are gonna happen at that moment. One, you're gonna be pissed off they ruined your streak, right? <laughs> and second, you got a job. And you go, what? So the day my streak gets broken is the day I get a job? It's a pretty good day. And every other day, you nailed it. So, look at for the moms of the world, set, set, your, set your heights high. I disagree. Put your bar as low as you can. Assume it's gonna be no. Assume the day's gonna be imperfect. Because here's what I know about low bars. Watch about, here, if you put a low bar, watch this. You get over them real quick. Every day you put a low bar. I get over it real quick, right? Stop crushing yourself. Stop putting the bar here and barely getting over it maybe three or four times in your life. Stop doing, I've got a brother-in-law that his part is way high and he crushes himself. Don't do it, don't do it.